There is bear around here. No matter how many times I come here, I always seem to find good gold. Good morning or good afternoon, everybody. Welcome if you're new here. My, my name is Polly. So as you can see, I'm in my wetsuit. We're looking for gold under the water. We are having luck. I am finding gold and we're having a good day. So if you like those gold sniping videos, keep watching because you won't be disappointed. So I made it to the river and the water is really, really low. So I imagine it's gonna be hard to find some spots to work, but with any luck, we'll have luck. Just found our first piece of gold. <laughs> My lips are numb. Just found our first piece of gold of the day. Sometimes it's the tiniest of cracks that hold the most amount of gold. This isn't the best example for that, but just a good reminder. It takes a few minutes to get used to that cold water on your face. And today, I've only got my little pry bar with me as a tool because, well, I lost the other stuff in the river. Maybe I'll find those today too. Once I cleared this spot, I had to move on. I have to find a place that's not too shallow or not too deep. I can't touch the bottom. <laughs> I eventually settled on a little patch of bedrock. This is where I was finding a bunch of tiny pieces of gold, but also a lot of silt because it is so shallow. The river gets murky fast because of how shallow the water is right now. I just spotted a super thin piece sitting in this crack. So I noticed over 70% of you aren't subscribed to Pioneer Polly. If you want to see more of these videos, please hit subscribe and that bell notification so you don't miss a future upload. <laughs> I love these really flat pieces of gold because they're actually pretty fun. Sometimes they'll take you fishing and it's, it's really, it's cool. I'm telling you, thin cracks are a great place to look for gold. So that's a good sign. Three pieces of gold before we even used it. My mouth is still numb. Three pieces of gold on a crevice before we even started digging inside the crevice. We should be good. So not only is this a thin bedrock crack, but it's packed full of material that probably hasn't moved in a very long time. Which definitely increases the chances of finding something special. Like- What do you I removed some packed rock from this corner and a little pocket of gold appeared. Finding gold underwater is so cool. It's very important that you stay warm, either from exercise or hot tea but I didn't bring tea with me. No matter how many times I come here, I always seem to find good gold. This is where I was just working underwater and I moved up just a little bit. And again, before I could use the crevice tool, started fanning, saw a whole bunch of gold. Here we go. Oh. There you have it. Another gold pocket in a thin crack. <laughs> I kept noticing little pieces of gold while I was trying to figure out how to pull this little nugget out. Okay, it's not a nugget, just a flat flake. It sure looks bigger underwater though, don't it? Come on. Take my hand! Ah! No, give me your other hand! <laughs> no! 
<laughs> Come on, you can do it. Woo! I continued this crack a little further because sometimes these cracks open up to bigger cracks, other gold pockets, or they just fade away. In this case, had more gold, but nothing crazy. So I'm having a lot of trouble trying to find a place that doesn't get murked up. Anytime I find a place that looks decent, it just gets clouded too quickly. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to, uh, to work. Check this out. There's an old cable stuck around this tree, probably from back in the day when they were uh, trying to winch big rocks out. And look at this, scratches from a bear over there as well. Yep. There is bear around here. <laughs> I found a spot that had flow going through it, so I dug down to bedrock to see what we could find. Stick. But there was only one piece of gold. But then I noticed something hairy. And then I saw a vent. And then I realized I, I'm in a pool. So right here is that special line of gold. But as you can see, it's really shallow. That looks like a nice little crevice, but it's really shallow. I'm gonna see if I can uh, work it out anyway. All right, so I just laid here, and this is my visibility. I give up. There's a real nice pack spot right here, but too shallow. I continued to play in these little streams of water I was finding. And because there's lots of exposed bedrock, it's always worth looking. This is kind of funny. I wasn't sure if I've worked here in the past or not, and then I found a big signal that lets me know I have here. I found my scraper tool. That's perfect. Now I don't have to use this crowbar as a scraper tool. So I won't continue in this spot because I obviously was here. That's cool. Look at all that bird ice cream. So I decided to do something that I never thought I would do, and that's dump the gold I'm finding in my hand to try to take a thumbnail. So here's what it looks like naturally, and here's what it looks like with Photoshop. Eh. All right, I'm gonna call it a day here. Now, I never thought there'd be such thing as the water being too low, but in fact, the water's too low for me to continue. I'm gonna have to wait for the rains to show up and uh, get a little bit more water flowing through this river. So because I'm on my friend's claim again, once I show you the gold, we're gonna split it and then I'll take home my half. Here is our loot for the day. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm really grateful that I have a creek I can go to where I can always find gold. I'd say that probably looks like maybe two grams or so. And of course, some other pieces of metal. So now I'm just gonna wait for the claim owner to come back downstream so we can split the gold. Until then, I'm just gonna smell the gold and uh, enjoy myself. Okay, here's our split. Oh my God, it looks like a happy face. So he's gonna take this one and I'm gonna take this one. Now let's weigh the gold. Ow. Okay, let's get this party started. All right, so here's the gold that we found today. We're gonna weigh it, and hopefully it will be 1,200, 1,100 ounces. 1.41 grams. And now for the avocado, four grams. <gasps> How dare you? So one and a half grams, you can't really do a lot with that. You could probably buy like a yacht, a plane, maybe a couple houses, but nothing really. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. So I highly recommend if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get notified when we make another video. If you're interested to see anything else behind the scenes, I do have other social media platforms available for your pleasure and even a Patreon account if you wanna get some exclusive stuff. So big shout out to my patrons to help make these videos possible and my buddy Tim Taylor for sending me this awesome shirt. Check him out on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, black screen and other videos that I recommend you watch because they're cool.